He extends the ball at the goal line. Did he get in? Henry to Peter. We got this thing rolling, so we need our fans to back us up. And it's a big game, division opponent, so we hope everybody's there. We hope it's loud. We want them to feel everything you know, from our fans screaming. It needs to be loud, it needs to be packed, it needs to be filled. It's code blue. It's a code blue Sunday. Get there, be loud, come code blue. It's code blue. So everybody come to the stadium, wear your Titans blue, just like me, and come show up so we can show out. Presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans, I am Lance Smith, but that is Eddie George! Yeah! 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 Yes. Uh, there, there, it is. there it is! Hey, that's there it is! There it is! I need the pads now! Got the towel <laughs> waving? You yes. must be excited. Man, listen, it's mm -hmm. December. Mm -hmm. Super Bowl. I like their talk. Yeah, Let's talk just headed that way. Yes. One game at a time. Hey, it's all know, I want for Christmas, too. It's amazing time. So, this, hey, is, uh, this is it. This is fun, man. We just come off this huge win yes. out in Oakland where we handled business. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what an exciting time to be a Titans fan, Absolutely. to be a Titan, Titans player. It's Meaningful football, yeah. playing for first place this week Woo. against a divisional opponent that you don't like. Yeah. In Houston. Right. So it should be as exciting times, man. It's code blue, man. It's code blue. It's code We're going to talk about that, but right now let's uh, let's kick off this show and uh, do what we do. And right now it's uh, it's four downs with Eddie. Uh. And since I've got Eddie here, um, I, this game, man, going into it, we were this excited, but we really we really put it to him. And uh, first down here, Tannehill rolls, Mr. <laughs> AFC Offensive Player of the Week, Ryan Tannehill. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, he, he's playing some inspired football. Man, I mean, you talk about getting second chances in life. He's taking full advantage of that opportunity. Yeah. The guy's playing lights out. What, seven, six and one as a starter? Six at this and point. one six as a and starter. One's a starter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 21 of 27 for almost 400 yards. Yeah. Three touchdowns and one blemish, one pick. Yeah. But, you know, the guy's been playing off the charts, man. Kudos to him. I, I'm just so happy for him and a great story. He is the hottest quarterback in the league yeah. right now. Absolutely. Highest quarterback rating, uh, longest uh, yards per pass. It's yeah. it's. It's inspiring to watch, and the, the team is definitely rallying around him, which we will talk more of. Uh, moving on, though, to, to second down, uh, it's not just uh, Ryan. You know, next man up, yeah. you know, we've had some injuries in our secondary. Uh, Kari Blasingame, the new fullback that we acquired, uh, anchor Bill, down, right? Vandy yeah. guy. You're Vandy guy. Caught a beautiful pass down the sideline, uh, and plus, you know, he's doing that first block stuff for Derrick Henry. He's sort of a uh, the, the Swiss Army knife for the team now. Well, he was like that at Vanderbilt. I mean, yeah. the kid runs a 4-4. Um, he's highly motivated. Yeah. Uh, he, he recognizes, again, that, that he has a great opportunity to be a, a force in this league. Extremely athletic and talented. Wait till you see him run the football. I yeah. mean, the kid is really good. Great addition to the Titans. And again, you talk about next man up. Well, unfortunately, this time of year, teams are getting banged up. Yeah. And that's why on the back end of your roster, you want to have guys you can rely on, like a Kari Blazing game, a Ty Smith, yeah. um, Khalif Raymond. Right. All those guys that can play the game, come fill right in and not miss a beat. Yeah, and it's not just, okay, we can hold our own. I mean, Ty Smith for the second game in a row yeah. is is a big part of a, a you know huge turnover, whether he's running it back in with the block kick for the touchdown and, uh, against the Colts. Uh, he knocked this ball out that uh, Jayon Brown had the scoop and score. Uh, you know, I mean, he's, they are. It is next man up mentality. And that's what makes teams really special are the guys that can do that. Yeah. You know, Ty Smith, guys that are unsung heroes, that fill in the gaps, that fill in, I mean, just doing a good job creating turnovers, creating plays for, for your team. I mean, though, that's what makes teams um, Super Bowl caliber type teams. And we're yeah. seeing elements of that coming together for the Tennessee Titans in December. Yeah, and we, you know, we, we, we've talked so much about how well we're playing, mm -hmm. and we've, we've said this word a lot, complimentary football, offense, defense. But let's yes. talk about the defense. I, I love to talk about this defense. Dean Peace has got these guys dialed in. Uh, Jarrell Casey, game wrecker uh, back there. Uh, Simmons, Jeff El Simmons, Hefe. El Jefe, as you El like to call Hefe. him. Uh, these guys are wreaking havoc, especially, mm -hmm. and you know, we, we are hands down the best second half team in the NFL, especially defensively. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know 
matter what goes on, I mean, you, you tell me you're a player. It's like 12 minutes and a half time. You, what, what kind of, you know, uh, changes can you really make? But our defense in the second half is mean. That's, that's a testament to the coaching staff of Mike Vrabel, Dean Pease, everybody else on that coaching staff of identifying what's going on in their defense. And they've been consistent all year mm -hmm. long. Yeah. And it's no surprise, they're still playing great. They've been the backbone of this team until the offense found their footing, yeah. and now they're playing lights out. When you yeah. see a team that's having fun on the sidelines, yeah. dancing, taking pictures in front of the camera after, yeah. you know, uh, after uh, interception or mm -hmm. turnover, that's when you know you got something special. Yeah. And these guys are playing for each other. There's a genuine love among them, and that's what you're seeing right now. That, that, right. It's amazing yeah, to watch. Watch a couple of here and talk but, to uh, you. But, but Logan I'll Ryan, Logan Ryan, though, yeah. I mean, he, to me, is the defensive MVP because yeah. it really, I mean, we said it all begins and ends with Jarrell, but Logan's playing all over the field. Mm -hmm. He led the team in tackles this week. Uh, he's he's playing in spite and football. he well he comes from a championship background right. from New England he knows yeah. what it takes this is meaning this time of year is meaningful football yeah. and Logan's been consistent all year long in my opinion should be first team all pro uh, outstanding guy I mean just this uh, utility type player and he's yeah. definitely one of the leaders of that defense. Uh, there were a couple of plays uh, in this game specifically, and you know ultimately they didn't sort of lead to anything. I mm -hmm. mean, Oakland, Oakland would score, but there's a play you were talking about it before the show started. Ryan Tannehill, you know, he, yeah, he throws the unfortunate pick because it was tipped yeah. and caught. But then what did Ryan Th do? There's one thing to make a play. Yeah, but right there's here. another thing to do this. And when you see your quarterback run full speed downfield, look at this. What? Watch this, is, this. this hurts this. to watch. Bam! Oh. Yes! <laughs> that is, is Tennessee Titan <laughs> football right there. That's what gets you up out of your seat right there. That's what gets you amped up. It got, I'm, uh. I want to come out of retirement and play for that guy. I'm serious. Because when your quarterback does that, yeah. it just gets everybody amped up. Right. I mean, I'm excited. The defense is excited. The running game's excited. The fan, Oakland fans were excited right. after seeing that. Well, I mean, just after that play, yes. look what Jayon Brown does. Uh, it's, it's first and goal, and Jayon Brown gets his best Troy Polamalu. Jumps over the line and tackles the guy. It's effort. And I know they score on that, that series anyway because it's a short field for the defense. But, but those individual plays just show me this team is not backing down. They're not backing down. They're playing with, with energy. They're yeah. playing with love and passion. And they taste blood. Yeah. They can see the finish line, and it's real now. Yeah. Now they control their own destiny. Of course, we're going to get into the games and all that. But to go out to Oakland, coming off a big win against Indianapolis, yeah. that was a sleeper game. We talked about that, a true trap game. Yeah. Came out slow, but the 42, sure. 42 to 21, yeah. and T Tannehill's playing lights out, defense, complimentary football. This team is special. Yeah. It really is special. I tell you what, I think Eddie smells blood. I do. Uh, <laughs> I can taste it all in my mouth. All right, you know, uh, 15 minutes can save you 15% or more on your car insurance. With that, we'll go to our first break with our Geico Fast 15, but stick around. Titans Blitz, we'll be right back. <laughs> Got it to Brown. Brown at the 10, at the 5, driving for the end zone. Touchdown, Titans! Carr stepping up, in trouble. Sack! He extends the ball at the goal line. Did he get in? Yes, he did. Derek Henry to Peter. Welcome back to the Titans Blitz presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans. It's now halftime here on the show. Take a break from the X's and O's. And, you know, we got fans everywhere. Oh. Everywhere. All over the mm -hmm. world. All over the world. Uh, but this week, I want you to check out uh, this gentleman out in California. Here is uh, Damien's story in this week's Bleed Blue. Damien Heafy grew up in Santa Cruz, California. He could have liked the Niners or the Chargers or the Raiders. But after seeing the Tennessee Titans go to the Super Bowl when he was eight years old, he had a team. Later, he even started a group called the California Titans Fans. And they bleed blue. This week, they're in Oakland, California. And it doesn't take a football connoisseur to know that this place is tough for opposing fans. With one of the toughest, rowdiest fan bases in sports, 
some fans don't dare step foot in the black hole. But Damian Heafy and his group of diehards are in town. Waiting to get in the parking lot. Let's go, baby. Ready to get in the parking lot right now. About to take over Oakland. Growing up as a Titans fan, I was always alone. And, uh, you know, I started this page trying to just get together with people, you know, meet up at bars, just, you know, represent. And man, what it's turned into now with the tailgates. Just the crazy meetups they have in LA, Northern California, man, it's grown. We have over 600 people. Yeah, don't, hey, don't think California Titan fans were hiding in the back of the parking lot. Don't think we're scared, we're in the corner. Nah, we're right in the thick of things, you know what I mean? We're right there representing, right in front of everybody. We're never scared. Tighten up! These guys, ah, they don't intimidate me. It's nothing to me. And it's nothing to any of my guys. And you know, we're, we're, we're putting this on the map. We're definitely invading every West Coast stadium. Oakland, Frisco, any, any stadium. We're never scared. Never scared. Oakland, they talk about it, but hey man, we're here. California Titan fans. He extends the ball at the goal line. Did he get in? Henry to pay dirt. Touchdown! Henry! Let's go, baby! Yeah, it's not always easy being a Titans fan, especially out here, Raider Nation. But you know, sorry that these guys are going to Vegas, but it is what it is. We're going to come here and take this dub. Here's Smith open in the end zone. Janu Smith, touchdown, Titans! But yeah, so the reputation of Raider Nation, the black hole, you know, is the scariest place to be, but I, mean, I ain't scared, never scared, man. Coming in here, see a blue. Me and my crew, California Titan fans, we come in here and invade. Never scared. Anywhere, I'll go. I ain't scared of nobody. As the Titans come to the West Coast and get it done again. Titan fans right here at Raider Nation, never be scared. You better cheer, you better be loud, you better represent. I love it. Bring that energy here. We're going to need it this yes. Sunday. Yes. Can you yes. believe, though, that's the last Titans game in Oakland? I, I know. Uh, you know, it's, 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 it's sad. Yeah. I, I hate that. I'm, I, I'm a football enthusiast. I, I'm, sure. I, tr I love the, the, the tradition of football, mm -hmm. especially out in Oakland. Yeah. The black you hole. See I that. played yeah. out there. Right. Um, great fan base. And I feel really bad for the community of Oakland mm -hmm. losing their football team. And they still showed up to every single game this yeah. year, regardless. It was a fascinating story. You know who I feel good for, though? That's Titan fans. Yes, sir. Yeah. All right, we got a big game coming up this Sunday. You saw that energy out in Oakland. We're going to mm -hmm. talk about energy here at yes, Nissan yes, Stadium yes. in Nashville. On the other side, keys to victory coming up. Don't go away. Titans Blitz. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Titans List presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans. I'm Lance. He's Eddie. It is now the two-minute warning here on the show. And we've got a code blue coming up here at yes, Nissan indeed. Stadium. Yeah. We've got to pack the house with the blue, with the energy, with the noise. Uh, but we've got to talk about what the players need to do yeah. on the field. Yeah. Uh, so first up, contain Watson. Yeah, um, we don't have a point of reference this year. It's the first time we played the Texans this year. That's so weird. Which is very weird. Yeah. That, back into the season, yeah. we play them twice in three weeks. Yeah. And listen, I, I thought the last game the Texans played, they were a shell of themselves, obviously. It looked like they partied the night before. Against the Broncos? Against the Broncos. Yeah. It they got demolished. Bad. And, they're, and the they're going to come in here dialed in. Yeah. You know, so you know that. So Deshaun Watson is the key, a number one guy. In my opinion, Probably the most lethal quarterback in the league in yeah. terms of running and throwing. Better yeah. than Lamar Jackson. That's okay. a different story for a different day. But yeah. he can he can put up points like no other. And yeah. we're going to have to contain him. Always possible. We're going to have to Keep a spy rush. on him. Same yeah, blitz. I mean, just mix it up. Yeah. Dean Pease has done an amazing job of that all season, I think, in disguising his blitz packages. You don't mm -hmm. know what's coming. Uh, but, yeah, definitely contain him. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, moving on, another guy that you got to keep your eye on the whole time. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins is lighting it up. He's already got over 1,000 yards in the season, uh, seven receptions a game. He's got seven touchdowns, averages 11 yards a reception. He's, he's a he bad boy. He can stretch boy. the field. Yeah, and he does a lot of uh, crossing routes. Uh, he is a bad boy, so we've yeah. got to know where he is at all times. I, I can watch games against 
the Texans and you see him get open, you're like, how do you how do you let a guy like that get open? But he does and he will. So how? <laughs> I mean, listen, you throw that ball in the six foot radius, mm -hmm. it's it his. Is. <laughs> it is. And yeah. and I think um, our, our defensive backs are up for the challenge. Uh, Logan Ryan, I think they all understand that Hopkins Deshaun Watson is a is a huge deal, so you got to force mm -hmm. other guys to make plays. Um, and, and again, we're going to it's going to be one of those games where they're going to have to make great adjustments mm -hmm. on the fly because we haven't seen them this year, and we don't know how well we match up with them. But, but listen, one of our strengths or our best strength is our secondary. Yeah, you know, uh, we're a little banged up, but I think we'll get the job done. Yeah, which is strange to hear because it was always such a weakness for us for yeah. so long, yeah. and all of a sudden yeah. now we're, we're dynamite back there. Uh, and finally, uh, sort of the third key to victory here is keep playing. Titans football because we talk about this dynamic offense there's look mm -hmm. our defense is awesome and they're going to shut them down but these guys will score points and I think we've just got to keep up uh, this heavy offensive pressure that we found right and and, and it helps that the, t the Texans their defense is is statistically not great right um, so that bodes well for the Titans offense considering how hot we are uh, Tanny Hill's getting the ball to so many different receivers yeah. Derrick Henry's playing great uh, despite the little tweak in the hamstring mm -hmm. um, and the fact that the, the and the key factor here mm -hmm. is that we're playing at home. At home, just the, this magic right it here. It has to be loud all day long. It has yeah. to be hostile from the start, and that's going to be the key, in my opinion, yeah. to really take this team to another level. This isn't just advantage. third down loud we're talking no. about, guys. This is relentless, this is relentless. just playoff mean football. pressure. Yeah. yeah, it's playoff football. Yeah, well, you have to question, are they piping sound into right. the stadium? They that's, used to question that. That's what they did, really, seriously. They you used to accuse that. us of that. Yes. Got to, they need to accuse us again. Let's just we, we want to be accused of cheating is what we're saying. Uh, no, it, it's got to you got to show up and you, you got to be there early too. the energy. The, the fans it's, it's need to bring the energy. It's all about energy. Like, you know, it's all about energy. I mean, I'm, I'm waving this towel just to get the energy going. And, we, and, yeah. and the, I'm telling you, the, the players feed off of that. We notice that when you come out for player introductions and the stadium is full and fans are waving. It's, it's over. It's game over at that point. Yeah. It's like, okay, how, what's the score going to be? You know it's over. But if it's half full, it's spotted, you're like, ah, you're not into it. It's a give and take. Yeah. The fans are a part of a winning culture. You go, to the high, you go through the highs and the lows. So we need that support there this weekend. Guys, it's not just yeah. any game, okay? I mean, this game puts us on top of the AFC South. It keeps this us in control. This is what you want. This is playoff football. This is Code Blue. What is it? <laughs> to the Titans Blitz presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans. It is now overtime here on the show and time for our Wendy's Hot Take of the Week. The Titans are the hottest team in football right now, mm -hmm. Eddie. Uh, we have the hottest quarterback, the hottest running back. I'm yeah. not talking about looks. I'm talking about their play on the field. No, <laughs> we are the team to be afraid of, the team to watch. So I ask you, uh -huh. with, with Tannehill playing so well yes. and with Derrick Henry playing so well, who is improving the other the most? Like, is mm. Tannehill playing so well because of Derek, or more because of Derek, or is Derek playing so well because That's of That's an excellent question because is, it's like. Uh, they're, they're both helping each other. Yeah, they're both helping each other, but I think because Derek has established himself as the go to guy on the offense going back to last season of week yeah. 10, and so now more defenses are focused on him. Tannehill just goes out there and just. Go out and play. Yeah. This play lights out, and he's been doing that. So I think at this point, Derek has really helped Tannehill gain his confidence and find his sea legs and mm -hmm. and just take it over the top right now. Tannehill had had Tannehill's had good running backs before, but he's never had a Derek. No, he, he, no, no, he never had a, an animal. He never had an animal. He right. had he had a, he had a mouse or a, a muskrat, <laughs> but he never had. A 250-pound gorilla like is just coming downhill on you right. like they run a 4-3. This is not it. It is, it is uh, some of the most exciting Titans football we've seen in years. It is complimentary football, mm -hmm. defense, offense, special teams, everybody's stepping up. You've seen this kind of work before yes. with Steve. You and Steve mm -hmm. had a great combo, the so chemistry. teams didn't know how to defend. What are you going to do? Well, yeah, the, the, what makes this team different from our, our team is that they can stretch the field. They mm -hmm. have playmakers, yeah. A.J. Brown. They've got the tight end. Of course, we have Frank Wycheck. 
But this receiver, this rookie receiver, is having a fantastic year. He and has Brown. all pro written on him in he, the future. He does. Uh, and, and with Derrick Henry, complimentary players, a quarterback that's playing, they have a chance to do some special things offensively. This is exciting. Yeah. This game is exciting. This team is exciting. But you guys are going to bring it this time.